Tonight, I'm going to do a special beer. It's from Urban Chestnut. Uh, it's called, a, it's a Swickle Bavarian style lager. Uh, and uh, Urban Chestnut is in St. Louis. We don't get the beers here. A friend was kind enough to bring one back for me. Uh, this is an. It's a. It's a Bavarian style lager. It's very old. It's an older type of uh, lager, and uh, it's supposedly well. It's supposedly unpasteurized, um, which most craft beers are, but um, also unfiltered. So the the color is not as uh, pronounced. Uh, is the Spickle beer is similar to a Keller but not as pronounced. Okay, so let's see what this is all about. Let's see, already it's not. So you can see it's not too. It's not very clear at all. Deadly, it's probably unfilled. It's very cloudy. Very nice uh, looking beer. Very, very nice looking beer. Perfect. Glassware. This is a mug. Nice, nice thick glass. It's 4.8 percent. All right. It's beautiful. A little lemon in the head. Malty, it's nice. It's good for this season. If you're drinking Oktoberfest, this is a perfect uh, companion to it. Before we get into the heavy ABV beers, which I haven't really stopped drinking. Gee, this is damn good. <laughs> you never know again. It's very well, very well brewed. Um, Now, Phil is a little, uh, it's, it's relatively, it's, it's mildly carbonated, but what's more interesting is the finish and the taste. This is slight fruity bitterness, but it, the bitterness is the main, and, and malt, it's a very, uh, in the finish, it, it, it's very, very well put together. So the bitterness doesn't stand out, and uh, the malt doesn't stand out. Uh, a slight fruit in there. It's all very, very well put together. Now I made it cold enough. I mean, it's, uh, I don't have my thermometer. This is below 45 degrees Fahrenheit. Very easy drinking, but there's, it, it has a degree of complexity. Yeah, this has got a great finish, and, and it's it's not the uh, it's not too much bitterness in it, it's just enough, uh, and it's just right. I've, I've Quite frankly, they, they've done a very, very good job on this. Uh, there aren't, I looked on Beer Advocate, there aren't that many uh, American companies, uh, American breweries who brew this style. And I can see why uh, Urban Chestnut got uh, very high ratings as a brewery. Uh, Schlafly also, I believe, which is the same goes also brews a uh, a Keller. Okay, one more for the road. Yeah, the bitterness is not overwhelming. This so this it's the whole thing is put together very very well. Okay.
If you can find this here in San Luis or wherever that they distribute, by all means, do uh, drink it. And uh, it, it's, I highly recommend this. It's really good. Until next time, life is too short to drink bad beer. Cheers.